I got wood on my inventory, so that yeah, that'll yeah, so I can make torches and stuff. Just put that there, so it's not a wasted inventory space. So I'm guessing it'll probably be over here. I'm just trying to find the uh, way to the intersection. To ooh, a chest. It's probably baited. It's a bait chest with like, yeah. Alright, I don't know what that was. It might have been the flaming skeletons. Alright, let's see what's in here. It's not a trapped chest. Ooh, emergency. Ooh, that looks like a resistance to slowness. Oh, slowness. That's the, <laughs> that's the catch. And it's got a minus speed modifier, so it's not only slowness, but you also get just general minus speed. Is that kind of, I think, should that stack? Yeah, it, it should stack stack with the slowness potion, which would suck. So you'd be extremely slow if you used it. Ah, here's... So they were miners, I see. Might as well take the golden pick. It's not that bad of a pick. And I guess that was all to this room, or whatever you want to call it, the cave. I can just run through here, because I lit these up. And... Just trying to find the passage I'm going for. Creeper. Stupid creeper, you don't, you don't walk into the fire, that's stupid. Take out that skeleton before he bugs me too much. Yeah, okay, I'll follow the, follow the lava. Light this up, kill this guy. He's got fire resistance, so even if I knock him in the lava, it's not going to do anything. Just with the cobblestone wall. Alright, this looks like the exit. So this should be intersection two. Yep, with the base here. Oh, it's a one way to the victory monument. That's that makes sense. Mushroom, gunpowder, compass, ooh, ender chest. So you can use this ender chest to transport stuff from the victory monument base to here. Okay, free bed. Wooden stake. Alright, so check that it's not a hell biome. Okay, yeah, planes. I'm just a little cautious <laughs> of that uh, beginning trap. I try to features 100% more vines. What did I just talk about? <laughs> I'll save you some time. No loot in the waterfalls. Yeah, because someone would probably want to swim up there and check if there's loot up there. So in the waterfalls, what if there's loot down the bottom? <laughs> yeah, I'm not much for going for that kind of hidden loot. It's just a waste of time. Speaking of time, I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot. Yeah, could open it, open the world up to land, but yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna die, right? All right, so that area looks like a mushroom area. And there's a fleecy box. Wow, I'm so cheap. This is cheating right here, isn't it? Let me guess. There's some kind of mushroom area that way. Mycelia mines. Who called it? All right. <laughs> That's so cheap, stupid world that doesn't load. Scorched underpass, nice in mines, Own unholy marshlands, and Azarian catacombs. I'm guessing the next intersection is going to be behind here. Not positive though. So I'll, uh, I guess I should check out the mycelium mines. Because uh, I already <laughs> I just looked through the wall and now I know where the fleecy box is. Free wood. Okay, it's just uh, free. No more, more free wood. Don't really want fence. This is probably where you're supposed to like grow mushrooms or something. I don't know. This spruce was sketching me out. It looks like a hole in the path. So let's see. I know the fleecy box is down towards that direction. Probably under under all that my mycelium in a cave. But for now, should I head up? Or head on this way. Looks like a nice big open area with glowstone to limit the natural spawns. Ah, hello, first uh, area specific special mob. You look, you look like a free food source. <laughs> or uh, nah, I don't need, I don't, I don't need mushroom stuff. Mushroom stew is an is a annoying food source because you constantly have to refill your your uh, 
bowls and it, it doesn't stack so I just I just don't want to bother with mushroom stew even though it's pretty infinite with mushrooms and everything so it looks like there's a lot of these mobs they don't look too threatening they look like just little zombies pretty much yeah I'm just gonna light that one up might as well Oops, normal skeleton, don't have to bother with you because there's vines here, lol. Normal skeletons, la la la. So this, well, yeah, this looks like a pretty easy area so far. Oh boy. Take that back! Where's my food? There it is. Get away, get away. What's going on? What's going on? Stop hitting me. No. No, 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 no. No, what? No! Why? Did my armor break? Because I swear, I shouldn't have been taking that much damage. My armor broke and I ran out of food. That figures. Ah! I'm such a derp. Why do I keep dying like that? I keep pretending I have a lot of armor. Oh, screw you, fall damage. That was not fall far enough for someone to get hurt by. That's stupid. I have to go. Wait, I didn't set my spawn because of stupid time. Why does time have to be set to night for you to set a spawn? That's really annoying. And I don't have permission to set the set the time to any different times. Screw you, skeleton. You're going to shoot me because you have a really bad aimbot, I guess. Ugh. Why does it have to be nighttime to set a spawn point? That's just annoying. You don't, you don't want to bother setting your spawn because that's just, just a bother just to wait there for night to come. Even though you know you're safe, you don't have to, like, all you would have to do is just sit there. It's pathetic. Why, you, why can't you just right-click the bed? Have your home set. I know that a lot of, like, uh, single-player mods or whatever do that. It's just, like, you right-click the bed and you're automatically your spawn is set. And that's just so much nicer. Why, why can't that just be in vanilla? Ugh. It's just so annoying. I have to find my way back to where I was. My hunger's already down too because obviously you're getting like no saturation when you spawn. Uh, where's my stuff? Uh, how did you spawn up here? Oh, oh great. Yeah, that's great. I have to knock you all off. And where did you come from? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? 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 What was that? How did I fall off? Oh great, and how, now a spider spawned in my base. This is fantastic. What is, what is with this? What's going on? Stupid. Just, I want my stuff back. That's all I want. Now I just got two pointless deaths. I hate it when deaths just stack up like that. Completely. And now there's a skeleton in the way. That's just... Uh, screw it. Screw you guys. Screw you. You've missed. Why is this happening? Alright, come on. Hopefully there's no spawns in here. Oh great, there's a creeper right away. Right away there's a zombie and a creeper. You're gonna blow up and hit me somehow, even though I was clearly out of your range. And now I'm out of hunger because I had to regen one half a heart. And there's my stuff. Hopefully there's nothing guarding it. I had that emergency health potion too. I probably could have used that. Uh, but no, I had no room in my bar, so I went in my inventory. And now there's a skeleton after me, and now I don't I can't regen because I'm trying to eat. <laughs> you are lit up, so I don't have to worry about you. Where's my sword? There it is. Where'd my stone sword go? Is it still Probably still there. You are not supposed to be spawning. What? What hit me? What just hit me? I was not close enough for him to hit me. What is going on? My bow, but I don't have my frame. Yeah, see, all my armor seemed to have broken because I don't have it. This might be up here. Anything? Anything still here? There's, this, there's my sword. Yeah, my armor broke, and I don't have any extra? Really? I swear I had extra. Ah, oh, there's a, my stacked pickaxes. Hex. 
Uh, so let's just keep going at this area and not even care about our losses of supplies. Because YOLO. Let's see. I um, want my sword on the bar. Did my iron sword break? Seriously? Ah. I have supplies to make stone swords, so I'm not at a complete loss. Swinging swords drains hunger too. Ugh. Of course, that stake has a lot of saturation, so that'd be nice. Okay, there's my bow. Switch that with the pickaxe. Make that over there. Okay, do. Okay, that should be good. And that looks like the way to whatever's next in the area. Still have this, so I can splash that if I'm desperate. Ooh, hello. It's a free armor replacement. And I did have a replacement. Leather leather armor and chain legs are being good. Not as good as that. Don't need that, don't need that. I could do some of those. Alright. What was that? Night vision, don't need it. Alright. So now, we're... I think we're lower. Is that... It? Okay, so it's just a baby zombie. Baby villager zombie. You know you're falling. I'm dead. All right. Of course, you guys show up. Mm -hmm. Why you guys try? Should I head down there? Looks like that's the goal. It's gonna shoot you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd you come from? Oh. <laughs> of course you put spawners up there. The most inconvenient location to put them. And there's just normal zombies. What's the point? There's plenty of zombies. See? See, there's plenty. What? The skeleton's shooting at you. don't care? Okay. What? I'm clearly out of range of the spawners. Why is it? Oh, yeah, because the... Freaking zombie AI is now like plus 40 blocks follow distance. My god. It's ridiculous. There's like nowhere you can be that's safe from a zombie that you can see. Free chest. Hopefully there's like a helmet. This is a trapped chest. So I'm going to check under it. And what do you know? Screw you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Little trickster. Free stoof. Where did that lead? Where did that redstone lead? I want to know. But I don't have an axe. What am I doing? Oh yeah, you can right click on fences now. Because of the... Uh, what do you call them? Leads. Nope. Stupid. There you go. Yeah, that knockback glitch, I assume. If that's good, then I'll replace that. So there's a repeater there, so it probably led this way. Oh yeah, see, there's a TNT, so it'll make you... You'll try to run from the uh, trapped chest once you realize and you hear the tss, And then this TNT will catch you off guard because it'll be farther back. That's what I assume. And there's more TNT, so... Yeah, that's... You'll be, like, back here, and it's like, oh, I'm waiting for it to blow up, and then you'll blow up because the TNT was moved back here. That makes sense, but it's just... If you know what a trapped chest look like, looks like and you're looking out for it, then that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Off you go. And hopefully off you go. Yes. Oops. Kill, kill that guy first. Stupid skeleton. Yeah, yeah, see that arrow bounce right off him? Off you go. Wait, ah, do you have increased reach? Yeah, it seems like they have increased reach, which I know you can do now, I think. So you want to be more careful with, like, how far away you are. Plenty of arrows, I think. So I might as well just... Jeez, how much health do you have? More zombies. Why, 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 not, why not put more zombies? And what? Wow! Stupid zombies are so fast. The baby zombies shouldn't be that fast. I think they label that as a bug. So hopefully they fix that speed. Baby zombie. 
in the future. They're, they are not stopping their spawns. <sighs> I need enchanted bow. This is just bad. What was that? Was that thorns? Do they have thorns on them? Yeah, they have thorns on them. So that's why they were hitting it. That's, they don't have an increased reach, they just have thorns. So, that's, so they're basically tanks with thorns, so you kill yourself when you kill them. It's kind of annoying. So basically what you want to do is rush in and take out the spawners so they don't spawn anymore. Wow, okay. What knocked me back? I don't want to go back. I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm just gonna... That's my block sound effect. Looks like another custom zombie there. Just gonna block him off and get, get my bearings. 